Philly is where I'm from. Oh, 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 oh. tell them you cannot be the dumb mice that get three on the trap. The traps are there for all of us. They're there because they need the easiest fuel source possible. And the easiest fuel source is one where you create an atmosphere of poverty. You restrict all of the programs inside the schools that make people want to be more interesting and enriching and new things. You pull all of that out. You do things like allow drugs and violence to a degree so people get comfortable doing it until you crash down on it. All of that creates a healthy atmosphere for them to just go and scoop. So our job is to say, no, 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 no. I, I've seen somebody step on that blue and I have never seen them again. So I'm not doing it. You have to. And that's what we can control. We can do as much as we can not to be easy. That's what we can control, because they depend on us. And by us, I mean anybody that's not rich. I'm, I'm talking low class. I'm talking low class of any race. And then when you go black, it's just a whole nother. But before I get in that world, anybody, just say low class, anybody that's not privileged, anybody that's not rich, is here to feed systems that make the richest, richest, richest. Wow. That's what I think if you can imbue that into your life, you're going to stop destruction. Stop destruction. Don't be free my zone. 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 Awesome. Thank you, Jim. I'm Sabria. I'm Simon. I'm Micaiah. I'm Augustus. I'm Abubakar. I'm Jason. And I'm Amber, and we are Bartram High Give Us Our Crowns. We chose Jane Golding's challenge to bring awareness to our community about the school to prison pipeline. We chose this challenge for several reasons. First, initial surveys in the community reflected a desire for there to be an emphasis on motivating students educationally and creating a safe and thriving community. Statistics also showed that while Southwest Philadelphia is not the most unsafe neighborhood, its rates of crime and arrests make it a breeding ground for the criminal justice system. Additionally, this challenge resonated with us as members of a high school notorious for its dangerous climate. In fact, just last year, Bartram High School had 71 violent and nonviolent incidences. We recognize how much the atmosphere, culture, and policies of the school and community may be contributing to our students' behavior and wonder if we could use this as a way to spark community pride increase policy and procedure perform, and have more positive interaction with the youth of our community. It was in this vein that we created Give Us Our Crowns. This is a movement about restoring how people see children that are most affected by the school to prison pipeline and bring awareness to the systems and forces that help contribute to these distorted perceptions. Our slogan is coordination over incarceration. Give Us Our Crowns believes that if ch people see children educated in restorative and enlightening environments, they will seek out more solutions to keep them out of jails instead of putting them in. So how do we start? 
We wanted to do an art medium that was both gratifying and restorative to those who helped create it, but also beautiful and symbolic to those who view it. We decided upon a 1,000 crane project. This was borrowed from Japanese folklore that says, for the 1,000 cranes grants one wish. In our case, a wish to eradicate the school to prison pipeline. After researching about school to prison pipeline, we decided to bring awareness to, um, we decided to bring awareness. First, spreading the word about what is happening was important. So we decided to create a website and a social media page, and we used origami displays on the local businesses to advertise our campaign. Our website not only provided with facts and stacks, but also provided with other behavioral intervention for teachers instead of making disciplinary referral to principal or school police. It also provided resources for students. Our goal was to get 500 people to view our website and 50 people at least a day contribute their thoughts on our social media page. Secondly, we brought origami displays to the community to drive traffic to our website. Each partner was educated on school to prison pipeline and asked one way they could identify children stigmatized within the system. Their commitment with their displacement along with a brief description of school to prison pipeline to be shared with their patrons. We partner with Bartram High School to identify students and teachers in need of rapid building to host Restorative craft session in which the students and teachers, using instruction from our website, created origami cranes. Cranes making was used to help them gain a better understanding in an effort to reframe their perceptions that cranes were displayed in Bartram High School and throughout the community. We partnered with Patterson Elementary School, Myers Recreation Center, and the attic to make cranes with students, parents, and community members. Day two or two about the school to prison pipeline. We even partner with the Art and Theater production of 5 to 10 to display our cranes and host top bags about the school operation pipeline. Our school counselor distributed our government papers and instructions to students to use instead of making bad behavioral choices. The student could then submit their cranes to our team to be using our display. We educated our school police about the pipeline. Our school police were asked to help create cranes with students and to make a commitment in helping stigmatize children much the same way as our community partners were. Pre and post surveys of teachers and students who participated in our crane making showed that 100% of teachers and 93% of students felt that it was helpful in changing their perspectives of students or of themselves. In fact, some teachers felt so empathetic about our initiative that they created lesson plans about the school to prison pipeline to deepen the conversation. At the time of this presentation, we had had over 500 people view our website. We created over 1,000 cranes to put up 40 displays in schools and throughout the Southwest community. Since the competition has ended, we have witnessed a spark in students and staff about our work. Students are able to articulate their disciplinary experiences more clearly since learning about the school to prison pipeline, and this is causing our administrators to look at the school policies of the school year that has just ended and for the next school year as well. So let us recap. In response to using art to bring awareness to the school to prison pipeline, we created origami crane displays that were used as both advertisement for our website and social media page that share information and also were used as a restorative intervention to help and to educate students. We partnered with Bartram High School teachers, Myers Recreation Center, the Attic, Patterson Elementary School, the Tel 12th District Police Department, Bartram School Police, and 30 businesses create the art that was informative and restorative. Overall, we were able to spread the word over to 1,500 community members and counting. What's next? We would like to build on our success. Now that the community is beginning to become aware of the school to prison pipeline by creating an after school art mentoring program in which we create art with neighboring elementary and middle school students as a way to offer alternative coping skills. This will mean an expansion of our team to include other high school mentors, some which have been a part of the criminal justice system. This program will start in January in 2019. Additionally, we are working with the men of Bartram to establish a Give Us Our Crowns College Scholarship to be awarded to a senior who is or was a part of the criminal justice system, but who has overcame the odds and completed high school. Fundraisers will be held this upcoming school year. We put origami creation stations in our school for students, that need to for students who need to de-escalate instead of being sent to the school police or the principal's office. Although it is easy to think the school to prison pipeline only affects certain students and communities like those of Bartram, remember, its consequences are felt throughout society. Children, our future leaders, a child who is not in school cannot be taught. Knowledge is power. We ask that you choose to coordinate over incarcerate. We ask that you give, give us, us our, our crowns. crowns.